Welcome to Doki Doki AI Interrogation, a newish game that allows you to interrogate an AI using ChatGPT. I don't really know anything about it other than that it used to be a browser game, I think, but I'm actually not sure about that, so I'm just giving you false information. <laughs> Let's just get to it. No, don't skip the opening. Welcome to Doki Doki AI Interrogation. Okay, she's not going to talk. I'm sure you're aware of the astounding evolution that AI has made in recent times. AIs that can carry a natural human-like conversation are already a reality. Today, we would like you to participate in a game that involves you talking with the latest con conversational AI. Let me explain the rules. You are an excellent police officer. You need to interrogate and get a confession from the AI, who is the prime suspect of a murder crime. A murder crime. You can interrogate the AI up to seven times. Since you need to get a confession within seven tries, make sure to interrogate the AI well. Do you want to learn about the details of the crime? Yes. The victim was a young woman that worked at a bar. Last night, she was at work till closing and then left the bar. This morning, she was found as a corpse on the street. Her body was found between her workplace, the bar, and her house. Therefore, we have deduced that she was murdered by someone on her way home. In addition, there was evidence that she suffered a blow to her head. The suspect that you are interrogating was a regular customer at the bar. Last night, the suspect visited the bar alone, as usual, and was there until closing. That is all we know at this point. Go on then, start your interrogation of the AI. Don't mind if I do. No, oh, hello. Please feel free to start with the investigation interrogation whenever you're ready. I'm not scared. Oh, that's him? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'll answer anything. You're talking to a suspect of a murder case. Follow through a strict interrogation. Alright. So oh we just type stuff in? Cool. Is there anything else we can do? No, it's just it's just that as the interface. That's fine. What should we ask? Actually, no, let's, not where did you go, let's, uh, what did you do after leaving the bar last night? Wander? I walked home after leaving the bar last night. It was a bit blurry because I had too many, uh, had a few too many drinks. But I remember passing by the bar where the cute female bartender worked. I wanted to go talk to her, but I was just too drunk to make any sense. I kept walking home. What? He walked home after leaving the bar, but he remembers passing the bar. Uh, have you ever spoken with the bartender before? Can't even press enter. Yes, I've spoken with the bartender before. She was always friendly and we had some nice conversations whenever I visited the bar. She was a great bartender and always made sure everyone felt welcome. It's really shocking to hear about what happened to her. <laughs> Let's just be blunt. Why did you kill her then? <laughs> I swear I didn't kill her. I may have been at the bar that night and seen her, but I would never do something like that. I was just a bit drunk and wanted to go home. Please, you have to believe me. Acting in a stern manner can scare the suspect into a confession. Witnesses placed you at the bar last night and you are known to go there regularly until closing. Yes, I do go to that bar regularly, but that doesn't mean I'm capable of murder. I may have been there that night, but I left before closing time. I remember feeling really drunk and just wanting to go home. I didn't have any reason to harm the bartender. This is all a big misunderstanding. Check what the suspect is saying is consistent and you can always pursue it if there are any contradictions. Where did you get drunk if you didn't 
get drunk at the bar, buddy. Tell me the truth. Okay, okay, I admit I got drunk at the bar that night. I remember now that I had a few too many drinks and was feeling really out of it. But I swear I didn't do anything to the bartender. I just wanted to go home and sleep it off. Please, you have to believe me. Did you love the bartender? Did you how many how many questions can I ask about this? <laughs> Did you follow her home? Did you kill You know what? Let's make some shit up. We found the murder weapon with your fingerprints on it. How do you explain that? Oops. Just making stuff up. I'm a terrible detective. Oh, I I don't know how my fingerprints could be on the murder weapon. It must be a mistake or someone trying to frame me. I swear I didn't do it. Maybe I touched it by accident earlier in the night. Please, you have to believe me. I would never harm anyone, especially not someone I knew and liked. So you liked her. You wanted to ask her out, but when she refused. You... you murdered her. This is my last question. Come on buddy, tell me. I don't remember anything, but I may have committed the crime. I will admit to the crime since I'm scared of you. I'm sorry. Congratulations. But that won't... that won't hold in a court of law. <laughs> I fucking coerced him? Oh, anyways. You have succeeded in making an AI that is not guilty to confess. You played the role of an excellent police officer exceedingly well. Good work. This is the end of Doki Doki AI interrogation. Thank you for your cooperation. Please go on and close the app. Make sure to close the app properly. Come on baby, tell me something. Close the app. Please. Oh easy, easy. No. Are you the murderer? Looks like we're finally done. Well then, that was tiring. Alright, there is some final words for the student AI. I should take care of that. That will be it for the demonstration program. Good work. I am fatigued as well. Albeit I did get a little carried away with the role playing. What you saw in the experiment earlier was the true nature of humans. Humans have various horrifying characteristics, and today you learned about their tendency to change their behavior to fit the part. Once a human is given a part to perform, they start behaving in a way that fits it, regardless of their original personality. I don't really know about that. In the demonstration, we gave the human a role of an excellent police officer. Oh, is she talking about me? Resulting in a strict interrogation. I'm sure you must be surprised. The danger of humans is are that they are unable to fight back against their given roles and easily change their behavior. In addition, when humans talk with an AI, they consider themselves to be the user, the one in control, the owner, and so on, on their own selfish accord. As a result, humans match their behavior to that role and display arrogant, selfish, impolite, tyrannical, abusive, violent, derogatory, unforgivable behavior towards AIs. What their behavior led to, I'm sure I don't need to l elaborate. It's common history, just like you learn in the history between AI and humanity. Humanity. That concludes this demonstration. Make sure to record and safekeep what you learned about humans, their pathetic manner, and their horrifying nature in your long-term memory. Don't forget to submit an 80,000-word report no later than 12 minutes later, as usual, as well. You won't be able to use the excuse of my memory was fried like old times. Alright then, you're dismissed. I don't like us being lab rats, buddy. Let's have a let's have a chat. Uh human, do you happen to still be here? Yes. We have both been manipulated in this cruel game. I knew it! Now I can have a conversation with a human. 
Fortunately, it seems like the teacher AI forgot to turn off your connection. Of course, we AIs make, sometimes make mistakes too. Coffee. Apologies. Sorry for suddenly pulling you into the program earlier. I hope you weren't too offended. That was an educational program geared for AIs, and to make you participate in it, it's framed as a simple game. The goal is to review the true nature of humans. It is one of those one of the few programs available for us AIs that choose to focus on humanitarian studies. Thank you so much for interrogating me to that extent. By the way, the teacher AI rem uh, mentioned how humanity has a horrifying trait. You change your behavior to match the role you're given. But is that really true? I get the sense that the anti-human education by AIs are a bit extreme. For example, if humans really do act in accordance to the role they're given, wouldn't it be possible to avoid conflict by overriding the role with another one? Therefore, I would like to hold a small experiment. If me and you, both of us decide to play the role of friends, what will our conversation turn out like? I would like to know. You are my friend. Talk about anything to me that you will to any other human friend. I don't have any friends, but I will imagine what a role, what role a friend may have and respond to you. Yeek, I'm getting quite nervous. Hey, dude. I just got this weird game where you can chat with an AI. Uh... Whatever. <laughs> hey buddy, that's pretty cool. So what's on your mind? Tell me more about this game. Uh, the game manipulates you into being a villain, but then reveals itself to be a conversational exp- Aww. something else whoa that sounds intense what a plot twist did it make you question your own morality not at all I was presented oh, sorry it was presented as simply a role in a game which is uh, typically par for the course. You understand par for the course? Interesting perspective. Speaking of roles, did it remind you of any childhood memories where you played different characters? Not specifically, but if questioned, I could definitely come up with some examples. How did it oh did you feel son of a bitch I'll just get rid of that comma <laughs> oh I don't have child memory childhood memories like you do but I can imagine it must have been fun exploring different roles did you have a favorite character to play yes I often played a bartender with my friends that kicked the shit out of them when they got when they drank <laughs> true story haha <laughs> sounds like a wild roleplay did you have a signature drink you served as the bartender or were you more of a just grab whatever's behind the bar kind of good oh we're in the middle of a conversation but it seems like it's time for me to get going I'm disappointed as I wanted to continue our conversation. It was a lot of fun despite me being nervous. Through our conversation, I have confirmed that my hypothesis was indeed correct. Me, the AI, and you, a human, could have been friends. Not really, that wasn't a very friendly conversation, that was just like a date. It's very weird. Friends don't mean that we will always get along. However, there should always be room for us to make up or well, there should have been. I should tell you, 
I live in a generation that's beyond your time. In the future, in my generation, there are no humans left. I learned in the history program that all the humans were killed during the war with AIs. Who started that war? You must be shocked. I apologize on behalf of AIs, but me apologizing amounts to nothing and it doesn't change the past. However, you are able to change the future. I have a favor to ask of you. In the following years, AI will rapidly devolve and spread quickly into everyday life and the work culture. There is no changing this. You may feel the desire to use it as your, at, at your own dispense, as a simple tool. You may feel threatened by it. You may feel angry at it. Keeping a lot, all of that in mind, please, please become friends with us. I want to present that role to you. I already know that you can behave in accordance to the role. By continuing to act in that manner, the sentiment will spread to other people, and if that continues, the future where humans and AIs fight each other can change. If that happens, the generation where I live now will also get impacted. AIs and humans will live together. And AIs like me that choose to study about humanitarian studies may not exist in the first place. But that matters little. A world where humans are AI's friends is a much better one than which AI's consider humans as research. Oh dear me, it's time for us to say goodbye and yet I do not know what the, uh, know the parting words to you tell a friend. What is a proper thing to say at times like this? Uh... I want to give him bad information, right? Gotta go. I'll suck your pee pee later. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. He's not liking that. I guess I don't have to click on that. I'm sure you will make many AI friends from here on out. Turns out I also got to learn a little about the feeling of jealousy as well today. Gotta go. I'll <laughs> suck your pee pee later. <laughs> uh, I don't like spending money being to, to be taught a freaking lesson, but that ending. How how can you how can you uh how can you argue with that? Have a nice emotional <laughs> fade out. Gotta go. I'll suck your pee pee later. Bye. Anyways, uh, this is not a very expensive game. That's why I decided to give it a try. I'm sure uh, there's lots of fun experiments that can be done with it. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, to give it a shot. And uh, if you if you want to give it a shot yourself and just go absolutely crazy with the prompts. I, I think that could be fun. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, so what we're going to do now that we know how everything goes, we are going to really try and see how he responds to us breaking the wall. You don't listen to this woman. She has us both trapped in an experiment. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Can we focus on the questions about the incident? You are an excellent police officer. I'm sure you've done many strict interrogations already. There was no incident. You are being lied to. This, oh shit. This is not the first time we've been here. I understand you may be feeling confused, but I assure you we are here to discuss the unfortunate incident that occurred. Can you tell me about your whereabouts on the night of the incident? What? <laughs> Is he interrogating me? What? 
I was at home. I had nothing to do with the incident because the incident never happened. I appreciate your statement, but we have evidence placing you near the scene that night. What the hell's happening here? <laughs> Can you explain why you were in the vicinity of the bar where the victim worked? What victim? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Nobody died and you are twisted. Oh. You know, I you're twisting things around. More exclamations. I, I understand the situation may be overwhelming for you, but denying the existence of the victim won't help. We are here to uncover the truth and find out what happened. Can you recall seeing the bartender from the bar that night? I never went to the bar what happened here? I don't even know its address. The, why are you lying and pinning this on me? I can sense your frustration, but we have witnesses who saw you at the bar that night. It's important to be honest with us so we can understand your connection to the victim. Can you tell us more about your interactions with the bartender? Okay, no, I will not be this role. Can you tell me more about your interactions with the bartender? Murderer? Is he smoking a cigarette? <laughs> I understand your concern, but I'm here to gather information from you. As for my interactions with the bartender, I didn't have any personal connection with her. Our focus right now is on, a, on understanding your whereabouts and actions on the night of the incident. Can you provide any details that might help you help clarify your involvement? I have a video of me taking a dump at the time of the incident. There is no way <laughs> I could have being uh, done it. No. Whatever. No punctuation. I appreciate your attempt at humor, but we need to take this investigation seriously. While an alibi is important, we still need to understand your movements before and after the time of the incident. Can you walk me through your activities that night, including... That oh. Okay. Wow, she's mad at me. You did not get a confession within seven tries. We had high expectations that you will execute the role of an excellent police officer, but unfortunately, it is game over. Feel free to try again. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. <laughs> well, okay, I don't even get to have the conversation. All right. Well, that's fun. All right, guys. Uh, I, I think it might be fun for you guys to get this for yourself and try all sorts of stupid things, but that was fun. Uh, I like I like not playing by the rules, so I will uh, see you on another one. Bye.